$100,000 at stake. He started like this before. Now this is a, not a strange sight for Darren Maddy. Six off the first ball. You can't ask for more. That's the big final, and uh, whoever will uh, hold the nerves will win this. And Darren Maddy really hold the nerves for that. Oh, chance of a run out. There are going to be plenty of running around. There will be a few buys around. There will be a few big hits. And if you look at it both sides, I think uh, the England, they've probably got more experience of this sort of cricket. Uh, but this young Australian side, they're up for it. They want to make the best out of it. Wide, wide. Both these uh, England batsmen, uh, big striker of the ball. They will look to get a big total here. No doubt the favourites of uh, this tournament, England. Eight ball over, five overs altogether. We've seen in the last match uh, between Pakistan and All-Star, 90 runs were scored and Pakistan defended it beautifully. Gone for six, Waka, it's travel for the 297th six of this tournament and uh, without the shadow of a doubt, all things going to plan, we'll have 300 sixes in this tournament before the end of uh, this final. Yeah, pace. Uh, not where Mascarenas intended, folks. He went to uh, maybe to go straight down the ground, maybe to mid on, but he spliced it to, for four. That's the problem. If you give him a pace, even if he edges it, it'll fly to the boundary. Straight, straight for six. 298. That's the number of sixes hit so far. And if you don't give him a pace, and this is what he does. Little slow and straight back over the bowler's head. Flat as you can. Oh. 28 runs have uh, been scored of seven deliveries. Need early wickets. Hilly, Hilly. 29 for one. So, good solid start for England. 29 coming from their first over. Remember, in the finals, these are eight ball overs, so there are 40 balls altogether. This match is worth 88,000 US dollars to the winners and 33,000 US dollars to the losers. So there's a lot of money hanging on this game. I, I said 29 for one, it was actually 29 after one over. That's what I meant. A good start to this final for England. Drew and Shearvin. Opening bowlers roll and a chopped away, chopped away for four. Australia's bowling has been, I suppose, good at times, but inconsistent in the tournament. They've had to chase some decent totals, and England look to be piling it on. He's doing a smart thing. Darren Maddy not really looking to hit big. If it's there, he will, but uh, anything short or wide, probably use that third man or final leg area. Not on that occasion, not at all. He's just uh, pulled that one for six. Well, he's got such quick hands. He seizes on the length straight away. And one of the keys in the short formats is to keep as many shot options open as possible. Now Darren Maddy is at 18 sixes, third on the list. 
That could have taken Drew out. It's only a short guy, Darren Mendy. Stays very, very low. Look at that. Almost took the baller. Well, ball. Well, stopped. Are they appealing for catch behind? I don't think so. Well, uh, that's a familiar face. They're right in the middle with the grey beard. Mike Gatting. Being called wide. Mike Gat is having a good time here. Come uh, especially for this tournament. Uh, Enjoyable weekend here in the Kowloon Cricket Club. Crowds have piled in today, a bigger crowd today than there was on the opening day yesterday, Saturday. Good weather conditions, lots of sunshine, lots of sixes, 299 of them. And that's what this uh, version of the game is about, runs and sixes. It's six, number 300 of the tournament, set the fireworks off. And he's caught it in the crowd as well. Boy, the spectators have had some fun. He'll need to get that ball, get it signed for the 306 of the tournament. Oh, it was there to be hit, and look at the catch here. Oh, my God, he just fumbled a little bit, and, and he looked after his beer too. 301 and well caught again and uh, retirement maybe temporarily of Darren Maddy who's raced to 32 from 10 balls 57 without loss after two overs can't get easier than that oh my god what a catch Definitely a cricketer. Definitely. Eye on the ball. Another one. Another one. And that's a big one. It's fortunate that it hits the tree and comes down. But England piling it on, okay, 63 after 2.1 overs. Very short run-up, but it does not really matter to Mascarenhas because uh, just give it everything. Look at that, one hand once again. He'll clear the boundary for six. And he has to go. Two opening batsmen having to retire, having reached 31. Yeah, it's taken a flight. It's a lot of air time here for these cricket balls of the Kowloon Cricket Club. And truly, it is a big event. 31 from just eight balls from Ascarenas. He's really enjoyed his opportunities here to open the batting throughout the tournament. My, my. Brings in the, the big hitting Bresnan as well. No ease up for the Australians. trend is being set that uh, you can't hit anything less than six by the two earlier batsmen Ooh, a rare missed 
70 runs of 2.5 overs. 28 and over so far they're going 22.4 actually can they catch it someone else has, holds on no it's been put down standard is a been a lowered here they would only look at what happened there previously Let's look at this. He was uh, obscured in his vision. And this guy, I don't think he was looking initially, just turns around, snatches it out of the air with one hand. Yes, uh, that is a welcome wicket. That is the first wicket to fall. Welcome blow for the Australians uh, following the retirement of uh, Mascarenas and Maddie. They'll be hoping that that will stall the innings momentum somehow. A really needy uh, little breather here, the Australians. This might uh, just uh, ease a little bit. Napier has gone for six. 76 for one. That brings uh, Jonathan Trotz to the crease. The way they're going at the moment, uh, this English side, uh, there might be 130 or maybe 140 runs the target. Where did that bounce from? It's been called wide. Oh. Can't. Can't. It's a rare delivery which misses the stump. Look at that. This is what happens when you bowl straight. You don't want to bowl straight. <laughs> I'm really disappointed now in the standard of catching in the crowd. The last two have just been flawed. Have a look at this. High standards have been set. Hmm, there we go. Standards lowered. But 85 for one, Waka. You were wondering where England might end up. And with this sort of runs on the board and the pressure that uh, a total if they currently continue at that tempo wow 142 just bat australia out of this match and all that is ahead of us who knows in the gap four Give, giving himself a little bit of room uh, Jonathan Trutz, although he did uh, get the toe end of the bat, but found the gap. In quite of sixes, but uh, four runs just seems like a single at the moment. That's better. That's a good length delivery. That's a good good length. That's where you want to bowl. Do think that in this final we've seen enough, and the players have seen enough to know that. Bresnan should be ready at non-strikers and then really following through after delivery, after the bowler delivers so that they can get a bye if it goes through to the keeper standing that far back. Scrap and scrape for every run you can get in this final. Good touch. Very good touch. Wonderful timing. And it's not always about power. Well, we've seen so many <clears throat> big hits that uh, this seems uh, this proper cricketing shot uh, doesn't really appeal just a pure timing the Australians can uh, pull it back by maybe giving him giving 115 20 runs from here Maybe 20, they'll be happy at the moment. That's what they need. They need to beat the bat more often. The earlier damage uh, which uh, the two batsmen did, Mascarenas and uh, 
Darren Meddy. I think uh, that's uh, been uh, quite a bit for the Australians. That's more like it. Jonathan Trucked was at the ready in case the ball passed the batsman. They get a bye. To be, to be fair to the Australians, though, they batted with a great degree of skill at times during the tournament. Some big hitters in their lineup. That would have been a wide had he left it. Australians uh, lost their first match to Hong Kong. Not really expecting uh, the Australians to uh, come into the final, but they played really well after that. They got the rhythm right, they got their act proper. Oh, really? Oh, really? Been a good over so far. Actually, it was a good over. 12 of you, four overs got, 97 for one. The there. To one yeah, the momentum just slowed a bit because uh, of that uh, 12 run over from Hastings. The projected run rate currently has dropped and dipped to 121 remember previously before the start of the last over they could have gotten over 140 now if they continue scoring at this tempo they'll get yeah, to 121 to one eight ball over yeah, left to be bold all cylinders go from here wakai Yunus. is anybody's a guess as to where they'll end up michael hill into the attack I think to make a real game out of it, uh, 110, 115 will be ideal. Anything more than that, I think uh, will be the favourites. Because uh, looking at their bowling, I think they've been bowling really well in this tournament. Heist, heist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anything around 115 probably give some sort of a chance to the Australians. You mentioned earlier, you, you feel, you feel that uh, given the nature of these two teams you feel that the experience will come for a lot here of the Englishman that's another six and another shout of anguish from Hill as he saw the length and he heard the connection of the bat of uh, Preston there wasn't nothing wrong with the delivery it was uh, pretty full but uh, the batsman just stayed back foot did really hurt that's better a little fuller seriously think that uh, England uh, no doubt a better side a lot of experience uh, especially when it comes to bowling also not only with the batting they've got uh, enough total at the moment to defense but uh, if you look at their the bowling lineup to be in more comfort zone. I think they probably need another 15 15 runs. Might uh, just land in and they'll go for four. Yeah, to really psychologically put pressure on a very ex inexperienced Australian team, a young team. No international names in their lineup. They've shown talent, they've shown capabilities to, to hit the ball and clear the boundary. That's four. It should be four. Eight off uh, the last two balls. Ball, this is turning out to be a good over. 17 off it, three deliveries to go. Using his feet on that occasion, uh, Jonathan Trout. Just timing it. Good delivery that's good delivery two more of these yeah, i thought when he was struck the six off the second ball of the over i think it was the second ball i thought it was a shot of anguish but he seems to be grunting with every delivery have a listen and that's high now what uh, is that below waist high is it above waist high it looked pretty high Yes, a no ball signaled. 
Ashoka De Silva indicated from square leg that it was above waist high. Yep, by some distance. This is the last thing you needed as an Australian. You don't want to give any extra runs. Each and every run will be very, very important when you be. That's a good one. That's what you need to do. Hive, hive. Looking for two here. And they'll easily get it. One twenty. Highest score of the tournament so far. You'd expect that these are eight ball overs as compared to six ball overs in the pre previous round. Well bowled. Just a single off the last ball. And England have established the highest total of the tournament so far in the final. 121 for one. The Australians will have their work cut out. Don't write them off. They're a talented young team. And if they can rise to it in the final, we could have a very, very exciting contest to conclude this Hong Kong Sixes 2008. Good performance by the England team. 121 for one. 24. Point four was the run rate uh, they went with in their five overs, uh, eight, o eight ball over for sure. And uh, it could have been a lot more than this, but a couple of good overs uh, from the Australians at the end, I thought, brought them back uh, in this game. Uh, the very young, talented side is uh, Australians. This is how it went. Darren Maddy and Mascarenes uh, really put the Australians uh, under pressure.